Hey everyone, it's Sandy Streck for Lem Bush, and today we're going to create a buried armature that is a great vessel to be able to really showcase your flowers. The first thing we're going to do is start with one of the armature bases, and we did a previous video showing you how to create this, but I start with um, 12 18 gauge wires and I tape them with the floral tape, um, and then I'll go and make the six stars utilizing my fingers to get even spacing and they make this chicken wire style form. So this is the base for our composition and then this is a great faux berry stem that we have here. It's a kind of a faux viburnum and many times you see people that they want to have that viburnum stem but I always worry when brides want it and think what if it stains her dress? So utilizing this fabulous stem, look at the cool armature that you can make. What I've done is taken two of these stems. I'm just going to put one in here to just kind of show you um, what I did, but I brought it in out in that area here. Then it has multiple breaks. And so I turned one part of the stem one way and one part of the stem the other way and then just started working it into the armature. So let's take a look at how that turned out. So this is two of those stems and look at how amazing that looks, all of the great motion that it adds. Uh, so next we're going to add a grapevine um, textural element as well. So this is a grapevine wreath that I just wet down and took apart so I took a layer off of it and so I'm just going to come in here and bring that in to kind of extend our armature and then use a little bit of the bind wire to just attach that so I use some of the natural bind wire and come in and we're just going to bring a couple berries around and just do a couple ties on that to add that um, just different textural element into our armature. So it adds that natural aspect of thinking that those berries are growing on vines and it's gonna add a little bit more depth and character. The berries are wired so I can just even twist them around. I'm going to do another bind here. I've got kind of a loose end. Take that bind wire. I'll fold it over a couple times on itself and then just come in and I bypass one over the other and form a V so that that energy from the twist goes in. Then I'll cut off that and twist that end underneath. So from the outside here that exposed mechanic looks clean and uniform. So our next layer that we're going to add is some plumosa. So plumosa at the end is kind of going to be like a veiling aspect. We're going to come in and we want it to be around the edge and over the top of our flowers but just to create that extra depth in it, I want to have it um, come in this early to really, so I don't have to kind of really pull it down through my flowers. On here, um, so you did see me tailor off a piece. I had one strong piece that was kind of going back a different direction. I might do some additional tailoring at the end once I get um, my composition together, but we're going to stop here and start to add our floral materials. So I think about a textural selection. I'm going to come in and doing a spiral um, stem here. So anything that um, goes in front of this stem is going to go to the left side and then the next insertion if it comes behind the stem it's going to go 
to the other side. So that's going to come over this direction. That's how that spiral is going to start. So we're just starting with a couple green trick dianthus down in there. And then this is a brand new rose that we're carrying here at Lem Bush called Nexus. It's a really stunning orange color kind of, um, I don't know, orange crush you kind of could say, but it looks like it opens beautifully. And by using this armature, I'm able to spread my flowers out a little bit more and really get that extra value on it. Paying attention to where my stems go. So I'm going in and then just coming down and just looking to double check that that motion is coming together. And we're going to do a half turn on it and then come in um, with the pincushion protea. And that's another item that's really trending right now. Uh, we saw that neotropical trend come on really popular, popularized by Hitomi Gilliam. And, but you can see it just adds that great interest in there. So we're going to put those in and it's just something that makes you look into that bouquet and say, hey, what is that? That's really cool. I've never seen that before. Then we have a beautiful orange queen Alstroemeria that we grow here at Lembush Roses. Uh, we grow quite a few crops, but Alstroemeria is one of our premier crops and we'll come in. So you can kind of see um, doing groupings, but a triangle pattern um, that I have that carries your eye throughout the design. So um, it's gonna feel unified yet um, impactful with those groupings of color. And so some of these, when, as you're holding it, um, may drop up and down, but by doing the spiral technique, you're able to make those adjustments to those stems as they go. So next I'm adding in the uh, green hypericum. And you just can see what a textural difference that shiny berry brings uh, your eye right into the center in there. And then we're gonna come in. Um, I've got some of this little bit of the butter yellow coming off that orange queen Alstroemeria. And so I'm gonna bring a little bit of this butter yellow coming in. It's really a soft yellow in with stock. And stock, we know it's all is very fragrant. So that's one thing that our customers are craving is that fragrance element and stock is a great way to be able to get that. So give my pin cushions recessed a little bit there. So by doing that spiral, you're able to kind of raise and lower those floral materials. And then I'm going to go here and do another half turn. And because that butter yellow is so strong on that side, I actually am going to repeat it over on the other side to draw your eye through and kind of give that contrasting line. We have some other materials that we're going to add. Another novelty material is the Jester Leucodendron and it's a multicolor kind of green and red has that burgundy tone but it really um, is a unique material very long lasting so we're going to bring those in just a little bit of that darker color coming over in here so i have two of those that i'm going to group over there and you'll notice i kind of do things in twos and and that's just to make people question because they say aren't you supposed to do things in odd numbers and so I'll give you your odd number. It's potentially going to be on the other side, but it's just uh, once you know the rules, then you can break them, right? <laughs> That's a good way to go. All right. So next we have some of the Veronica and you can kind of see this is a little bit flat here. We're going to be able to twist um, some of that um, plumosa around to get it to follow the pattern a little bit. We're going to add some depth. Um, on the carnations. I'm actually going to come in with these down on the back side. So it's going to be a little bit of a reflection from the front. And it also is a, a way to finish the back side 
a little bit and again going from one side to the other I love the beauty of carnations we also get the fragrance on those as well come in with a little bit more depth in through the middle here adding that Veronica a little bit higher and then also some of the drumstick alium oh my pin cushions keep wanting to disappear here pull that back up there be proud right <laughs> that kind of happens as you're putting different materials in so let's take a look and then we're going to come in with some of the alium here in the middle too just little tip different textural influences so they went out of the spiral a little bit just got to do some twisting there and lastly i'm going to add some of these tansy and with the tansy being in that stronger yellow color i really have to pay attention to where i'm putting this to make sure that i don't um, kind of upset the visual balance that we have going with the different colors so we're going to come back in here and I just have to look to get it down in that spiral there and then a piece coming across here so this has got a little bit of a mind of its own I put it in a little bit late so it goes down in the spiral and kind of fits in um, but that's what made it move a little bit too so I want to separate these so that we can see them both but using that armature really allows you to kind of separate your flowers we're gonna come in and then what we're gonna do is utilize this vase this vessel and I'm gonna put it pull it right to the edge here so my fingers match up with the lip right there and then I look I want the stems to hit the bottom of the vase so I look at where that's going to hit in the vase and we go in so tip number one is I actually would put water in the vase but uh, you know I can't remember everything but there you can see um, so not a lot of materials it's about 12 different flowers and how much so here we're just going to do a little bit of adjustment I'm going to take that plumosa and just using it a little bit more as a veiling element so I get it to come over and looks like I want to add one more piece here um, that comes in coming into this direction there so we kind of get a continuous motion throughout this little guy is not happy so we just got to get him in there so you can just do some final um, twirling or um, touches on it and I've got one piece of grapevine sticking out so on that I'm just going to come in with a simple bind and tie that in at least as I think why I'm going <laughs> to bind cut that off and then just push it down in and that whole bind just disappears but so this is our bargain <laughs> bargain this is our buried <laughs> no bargains here but it's a great piece where you can see all those different textural elements playing well together using those viburnum berries to really create a lot of motion and using that armature to really be able to space out your flowers and give that visual impact so I'm Sandy Shrek for Lembush Roses and the LBR Educates Make sure to like, share, and comment on our videos 
tell us what you like and if you'd like to learn more things like this and make sure and join us next time. Thanks so much.